Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discuss here about second class of cucumber framework that is called cucumber setup in your local. Okay, and previous video we discussed about introduction to the cucumber framework. Now here is cucumber setup. And you have to create a new Marvin project and you have to add these dependencies. Once you add the dependencies and you have to create the source place one folder called future folder okay inside the future folder we have to create a, a login future file okay how we can able to do it and i already created one sample project and here i added for these jars okay j unit cucumber java cucumber j unit Gherkin, and java selenium okay once you added this one and save it and you need to come to here and the folder place you have to create one folder okay once you added the folder name it is a future In that future place we have to create one file okay that file is called login dot future once you created you can able to see there is a future file okay in this future file the first this all up to 1 to 18 there is a comment section and you have to specify the future file who is the author and key words and what is the future is saying that this future what it is saying that scenarios how many scenarios what are the scenarios it is required okay and given what exactly it is doing and when is what it is doing then what it is doing in case if you have unconditioned what it is doing this all the information we can able to provide here the comment section once you added that one you have to come here and you can able to see there is a tag the tag which is you provided the top that is unique that tag based upon that only these scenarios we can able to run okay and second one is future what exactly this future is saying and what exactly this work it is doing okay inside that we have the scenario in the scenario also we can able to specify there are some operations okay and what exactly that operation is can do the specific condition we are going to specifying here okay and second scenario is basically uh, scenario outline whenever you want to use some parameterization for that your test case that moment we can able to create this scenario outline if you specify in the curly braces place in the braces place so if you are specifying the name that name we can able to provide here examples and name what are the names and passwords and status of the passwords and all we can able to specify and based upon that it will read that whenever this method is calling this value it will goes here and it will take the multiple times also okay how we are going to use the data driven framework the same format we can able to specify this one this called as a parameterization okay scenario outline this we will see in the later video now i am just going to for simple example okay how we can able to call it once we added this one you have to just run your future file come to run and run future file once you run the future file you can able to see here there is a step definitions missing okay because we are not written any step definitions for that particular options which is a future file we simple english language written that english language written place we are not written any code this step definitions are missing for that we have to create one steps and src place i just am going to create one fold package that is called steps devs okay. and inside that i'm going to create a, one class called step okay in this step i'm going to add for this all the methods okay i can able to import this error message all the methods are same due to that i'm just i'm going to take for star okay it will remove that error message 
now my class is ready and I can able to specify some name here just seeing some output purpose and here I can give in method and here I'm going to use for run method and next then method okay just we are seeing for output purpose not for everything once we added for step definitions and we need to add for next step is to running purpose for this line and we have to do it for creating a class okay once you creating the class that class only we can able to run it class run class and here we need to specify some methods and you can able to see these three two options you have to specify then we can able to without code of anything and we can able to run it import import this thing and this okay here what will happen uh, run with is basically a JUnit format and without any method it will run the class okay in this specifying the class we can able to run cucumber option we need to specify what all the things we need to run in this runner class and here we are using the future is the one tag okay and here the braces place we have to specify that which package and where it is presented and i'm going to providing src slash test test slash resource slash futures slash login dot future and i'll show you that uh, remaining time without using this last file can we able to run a multiple feature for this particular thing or or not we can able to see in the later videos and here is a glow is basically like a package which which place our runner class and steps are presented that's specifying the name okay now our package is presented steps f and if you spelling mistake or some value is missing the name place then your runner class will not run okay once you add it and just you can go on and run your runner class once you run the class and it will it should be read this a feature file and steps and it should be equal see now my steps and both are places are equal that my scenario is passed now correct first condition is completed and a simple thing we can able to add and we can able to run it and second thing is if you want to add some plugins for reporting C and this report once again and here what will happen and this plugin basically and the report now we saw that the past condition but we are not seeing any report and we can able to specify some plugins here that is called and here we can able to use this one plugin pretty and http colon target and report place and we are specifying that report and i'm just i'm going to comma and adding plugin okay and here i need to specify which format and html format the report should be displayed okay I'm just I'm going to run one more time with this one now my test case is passed and come to here our target place and reports is need to be present now it is not presented now just I'm going to here the project place and refreshing the project and coming here and now we can able to see there is a file it is presented 
and here it is not displaying and you can come to here and you can able to check now see this is my html file and given and when then conditions are passed with the tag which feature file it is saying and uh, this execution is a simple uh, html report and we can able to add a, a user friendly report also next time we'll uh, show you that while uh, coming for report session class okay there i like explain you that exact feature file how that report will execute and how we can able to see and all we'll see in detail format okay and also we can able to add few things json format xml format also this format we can able to run and it will display that files also okay and we can able to add tags and the future file we saw some tag right here the tag is present and we can able to specify this is the head of the tag and we can able to say run all okay run all means in case if second feature is presented it will run and here is sanity now i'm going to do sanity now same thing i'm going to add into my future file which is using for tags equal to this one okay now coming here and saving this one and come to my run class In the last i'm going to keep on coming and tags equal to and i need to specify which tag i want to run sanity and just i'm going to use this one and saving this okay now you can see that one more class i am going to add same scenario copy pasting one and i need to specify in that and just then specifying something okay and now in my future file there are two scenarios two different tags and then three different tags are presented now i'm going to run my runner class using sanity okay and now we can able to see here now once i run the sanity you can able to see mine is pass and you can able to come to here refresh some error is here no but my step is not passed but naming convention we can able to add multiple tags also here and based upon that also it will uh, my step something happen my tag and even it is not showing any error messages not for opening the test class something is missing here sorry other red condition now it will run and if you run this one and you can now hopefully it will run yes now it is run now we can able to go here and refresh this one and you can able to see my class is run correct now the same thing i'm going to run for the runner all okay and if i'm going to come here and i'm going to run the both the scenarios it will run now now both the two classes will run continuously and it will show the two passes okay now if i'm going to come here and you can able to see there are two scenarios previous only one scenario is now two scenarios because we run the top of the tab that's why it is running the two scenarios without specifying that 
This way we can able to use our setup and running for and creating a, a HTML report. That's all about this video. I hope you understand this setup and all. If you like this video, please like me and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.